Hello and welcome back to Snowman and our hard mode adventure as we continue to try and work our way through Alaska. Last time out we finished delivering to the, I think it's called like the polar base here. Now next job is going to be the oil delivery. So we need to collect four oil barrels from the drilling site and we have to deliver to a uh, factory factory service hub and then down to this service hub now i think what i'm gonna do although i've started this engine what i'm going to do is oh actually yeah no i'm all right yep because i'm doing do this in a little bit in stages we're gonna cut all four See if I can reverse out here at all. Nope. Are we going to roll down the hill? Yeah, we can, we're going to go and collect our barrels. Because then I think that's pretty much until sort of nearer end deliveries. The last time we go to the drill site, I think. So... Once we've collected, I'll refuel what little refuel we need because we keep collecting off the Lodestar. And then we're going to quickly jump in the Lodestar and we're going to move the fuel trailer to somewhere else. I think I'm going to need it for a short while. There is a, a service trailer up by one of the drop-off points that we can fill, we can fuel from. I'm just, you know, concerned about fuel, clearly. And again today, I apologise if I sound congested. I, I think I get worse every time I come to record. And <laughs> today, uh, I haven't had it for a long time, mainly because we haven't been recording as often as we uh, normally do. But man, we are struggling. Um, yeah, we logged in, and for some reason it was 11 o'clock at night. So I've been sitting for 20 minutes, waiting for the day to cycle through. I think we left quite late last time, probably about half past eight, nine o'clock, but we're starting at seven because I had to sit through another day, so. Yeah, it's just a little bit annoying that it does that, and I, I always exit the game the same way, but sometimes it always saves what we've done, like the jobs and the tasks, that's all saved, and vehicles where we leave them. But sometimes the day resets, and I haven't been on and on a different save and, and moved that long for it to get confused, it's just, yeah. It seems to be a thing that happens sometimes. It's not like a massive issue. It's just, well, it's just more of an issue for me because <laughs> recording time is quite limited. And, you know, if these are an hour, and I think, right, well, I've got an hour, let's, let's get this done this morning or this evening. And then if I have to come and spend 20 minutes waiting for the time to take by, then, uh, yeah, we don't really have that hour to uh, to record. But, fortunately, we do have time today. We've got to try and get two recordings done today. That'd be sweet. Progress, progress, progress. But what I'd like to do is get two, two jobs done in this recording. Um, I'm not sure if we will, because I am poodling along. But my royal is not keen on sort of hossing about. I am wondering whether it is time to maybe bite the bullet, put the put the royal away for a bit and um, bring the western star through, but I'm going to keep trying. Because we've got that ANK, and the ANK is awesome, but it doesn't have uh, the crane feature. We can't put a crane on it, and that then limits it, so we've always got to have a crane vehicle going along with it. Or we pay for, you know, cargoes, which we don't want to have to do. Not really. Not when I know that I'm going to need fuel. I know I'm going to be buying fuel. And that that's not good. So let's get our anchor out. So let's make sure... Oh, it is oil, that's what I was saying, because sometimes you can get fuel as well, I think, so you have to be careful. So we do want oil, let's just double check. 
I haven't selected the job. Have I selected the job? There we go. That's what we want. Oil. Oil. Get your brain in gear this morning. Let's go. So she can uh, <laughs> guess by the awful parking. We're just going to puff these over. Probably pile them up a little bit. A little bit. As long as they land on, they're good. I think the uh, the manual loading takes up a lot of my time as well. I'm not very quick at it. <laughs> It's, it's surprising how bad at this game I am for how much I play it and how much I love it. But it's the same with everything else. Even the racing games that you don't see and like the farming. As much as I love it, I'm not really very good at it, am I? Right. Oh. That was just a little bit out. <laughs> but it's in now. Right, just saw the crane. Excuse me while I clear my throat. Right, hopefully we're good. Hopefully we're good now for a little bit anyway. I right, just... I think it might just be that there's not great airflow in this room. And as soon as I get in here, I just get stuffy. There's uh, scaffolding up at, out, outside the window as well at the minute, so we can open a window. So we shall refuel. off we go. So we're going to go the top route first. So we'll visit the two uh, factories and then we'll do the service station. So I say we can refuel at um, one of the service stations. Oh sorry, at uh, the second factory we should be able to get some fuel. Get your words out mate. And then we're going to quickly jump in the fleet star and pull that fuel trailer down um, sort of nearby Devil's Mud to be honest to start with I think I'm not sure if it's where I really want it but at least it's near the garage and I can maybe start to siphon some fuel out because the job after this is then taking the uh, four uh, service parts from our final destination, and then I think they go to one of the factories. So that's sort of the, the job I want to do afterwards. But I'm not sure if we're going to get get all that done. Like I say, some days I feel like we can be super productive, and another day it takes the whole episode to do one job. It just is what it is. And we still need to go out and do those hit the three points, hit the four points in our scout. But after rolling so easily last time, I'm, I'm not even confident with that. And, uh, yeah, we don't exactly have a lot of money. Probably got about 100 grand. And we, we're probably going to want about 120, 130 uh, when we get to time here to, uh, to buy a truck. I can't remember how much the truck is that I want. It's a mod truck, again. Um, but it's one that will help us through, I think, all the Russian, or the Eurasian uh, maps at least. And it'll it'll suit some of the more European ones like Scandinavia, it'll, it'll suit there and, and Austria if we ever get there. But I'm not, I, I doubt it's the, uh, it'll be the final 
truck that we need to buy either. I think we're going to have to buy a second one for Russia. Maybe not for time here, but certainly for the other regions. Depending on what we unlock as we go along. And we get bogged down here, don't we? Right, we get proper bogged. Hopefully that's on the decent tree. We've got all-wheel drive one, haven't we? Not that it seems to do much. Again, no diff is what causes issues with the uh, the Royal. It's, it's just... It's got the nice high ride height that helps you through the rivers, helps you through the waters. Um, Guys, it does have its upsides. Like I said before, it is quick. When when on some open road or some flat ground. But it's just... Yeah, the lack of diff and just how tippy... Tippy? I think that's a term that came about <laughs> mainly through the SnowRunner community. How, how often do we talk about <laughs> other things being tippy other than trucks? Oh, it's a bit of a tippy truck. Yeah, very, very unstable, even when not raised. Can't we? Surely we can get a little bit more speed. We can't. <laughs> now we've got chains on as well instead of um, like snow tires, mud tires, which isn't always best, obviously, because you do dig in a bit, but. I don't want to be sliding around and um, losing my load. Considering it's been, you know, 24 hours since we last recorded. Again, I feel like I'm still fighting through things that we churned up before. Which is mad. So everyone likes to tell me that it resets. Perhaps we'll be naughty and unpack the cargo. I mean, if, if we lose it, we've got a crane. As long as we don't lose the truck, we're good. That can sometimes be one of the benefits of driving unpacked, especially on a, a flatbed semi, or even just with the um, flatbed trailer on, or the flatbed on the back of the truck. Is if it's unpacked and you start to tip, you just lose the load, and sometimes your truck will write itself, or you know just not tip over as far. Whereas obviously if it's packed, it has to go further over until you lose the load, and if it is in the side bed, which I was always a fan of using the side beds until sort of I, I watched someone else's video, sorry, and it makes perfect sense. Explain that if you've got the if you've got the side bed, whether it be a side bed trailer or a side bed um, on the back of your truck, like the the load has got to get over that side before it'll fall out. So that's there's more that your truck is going to keep tipping. That weight then pushes on obviously the side of the side bed. So yeah, since since then I have pretty much switched exclusively to um, flatbeds, be be it a, a full trailer or a, a one that's attached onto the truck, uh, a bed. I don't very often use like the really large flatbed trailers, like the high saddle ones and stuff, but I'm sure we'll come across missions as we go, where we're going to have to do that. I, I believe in my time here, I've got some jobs that need that. And again, from my understanding, a lot of those actually 
although they're bigger, they're wider. That's the problem with them, they're wider. But they have less collisions on the bottom. Like, there's a lot on this trailer that can get snagged and caught. We've got the feet, we've got the box, we've got these side things. All sorts. All, the, all that snags, and that's what catches us. Whereas, I think on some of the larger flatbeds, they don't. Now, is this a factory that we're dropping at? It is. So, we'll get out of the mud, we'll pack it, and then we'll drop one off. One for you. Try and turn around nicely. Again, my memory is that bad. It wasn't until I just then shot up there. But I remembered last time out that we looked to see if there was a trailer up there. So bad. So poor memory. 24 hours I could be gone. See if we can maybe make a, a screenshot out of that for a thumbnail somewhere along here. I'm having to force it again. Oh, mad. Yeah, we are working the royal good. Good and hard, we're working the royal. I wonder how much we can do before I do have to pull another vehicle through. Once we've done the service um, parts job, be it on this episode or next episode. After that, we're going to move that large um, fuel trailer that's up at one of the um, warehouse factories. I forget which word is for which one. Just so that we can have that fuel in play. It'll probably go to our um, our, our garage to our garage so that'll probably go right can we not really no I was hoping I might be able to shift into high for a bit maybe just for a few moments Again, that's something I've not really done much of, um, especially in Michigan. Like, I felt like I wanted to, well, I, no, not felt like I did. I wanted to get through Michigan as quick as I could, and it still took us, you know, a stupid amount of time for stop and start the series. But when I play my other saves, I am more than happy to, to stick my, my vehicles in high, although it is normally slower. Stick it in high and just take my time to get into where I gotta get to. It just feels like we need to be progressing all the time on this. And I think that's where I often fall short in making mistakes and taking bad routes and often, you know, just taking the wrong route. Speaking of which, I'll just check here. Well, I don't have to check here because it's not that way, is it? No.
you know, through trying to get things done too quick, not taking my time. And I thought, oh, we're going to smash through Michigan, we're going to smash through Alaska, we'll get stuck in the same here, and then we'll take our time on the maps. I don't know. But because I'm playing it so different from what I normally do, it is almost like playing a map you don't know, because you can't, can't do those things that you're familiar with. Or well, I can't, anyway. Chains are going to bury us. I hope we're going to have enough fuel to even get to there. We are burning so much. Again, no diff. So, a lot of wheels spin everywhere all the time. And even if we're going low, like we just still don't get the traction we need. Or I don't feel that we do. Downhill, let's see if we can save a little fuel. We don't want to get stuck here because there's not a lot we can winch to. Softly, softly, gently, gently. Just check on the fuel situation. What size tank do we have? 280. Yeah. I, mean, I, think, I think the Royal's quite thirsty as well. I don't do a lot of um, low fuel consumption comparisons and stuff like that. I mean, as you can tell, I normally have the HUD off and I can't see any of it, so... I'm not necessarily paying a great deal of attention to it. But with each one we deliver, obviously uh, we get a bit lighter. Should one leave that there? We will for now. Right, jump in the load star, and we're going to head 
to the drill site. Oh, those tire tracks, where'd they come from? That's, that's not us today. realise now how little money I'm going to have. I am wondering whether I break my rules and <laughs> take this everywhere to scout even the other side of the world. You guys that are watching will have to let me know how strict you want me to be on my rule set. I mean hard mode is clearly <laughs> hard enough for me without <laughs> being like, no you can't use that truck. You have to pay to get things everywhere anyway. But I, I would always try and prioritise American trucks for America and Russian or Eurasian or Eurasia. I think we refueled ourselves. Oh no, we we used the fuel, didn't we? Let's say we refueled ourselves before but we've um, used it out there as well to top up the uh, the uh, the royal uh, quite a few times I need to move it while it's still got enough feasible fuel in because I think sometimes I move my trailers and there's nothing even in them like I burn more fuel than what I'm moving which is obviously then somewhat redundant So this was the challenge that we attempted and failed before. I mean, we come on past. Do we try again? Do we risk another two grand reset? I think I might just save them till the very end, or save them all till the end. Like I said, I know I can do them all. I've done them all many times. And that's that's not even the one that I normally have an issue with, I don't think. the naughty mud way just so I don't have to have to fight this will fit through there but I don't want to have to have a fight today not with that So I did wonder about in the, in the 20 minutes where I was just sitting waiting, whether to move this then, but then it's like oh, it, it would have just magically appeared somewhere else. And no doubt, if I had done had done something off screen that I said I wouldn't be doing, uh, something would go wrong, and I'd have, I'd have rolled it or flipped and. <laughs> I'd have to do an off-screen reset or leave it there. <laughs> leave it there and then explain it later. Explain my poor doings.
Same as I know I'm going to need to buy fuel to go on past. Do I just buy fuel now? Or do I waste fuel coming to buy fuel later? Which way is Devil's Mud? Left. There it is. So for now, I'm just going to park. There. That will be alright. Right, let's jump back in the oil. It's a lot of time gone there so which way do I want to go just just um, I might go straight through actually I think it'd be easier to loop round and come back on ourselves so we'll do Saves having to try and get the royal through that that muddy bit. It's bad enough I've got to try and get it through devils as well. Is this where I pull the western through? Because I've got to come back. I've got to come back with a full trailer of service parts. And I've got to get it through Devil's Mud without diff lock. Ooh. The performance today is not filling me with confidence on being able to get through anything since we're struggling here. Certainly, we change. We might have to just put mud ties on. If not, put some big mud ties on for this job. I think that'll be enough. What do we spend however much it is? Three grand, I think, I keep saying. I think it's three grand to uh, pull a truck through. So I get myself so torn on what to do. Because I think once once the White Western star comes through, 
there's no point in using the BM again until much later on. Just to maybe pull a trailer through or something. I mean, we could just use the derry. And the derry, yeah, the derry can fit a little sad long, can't it? That could always be an option. The derry's got to get through there anyway with the big trailer, so. It's just a bit big and clumbersome to be trying to get through the smaller roads. Or do I just use it for the mud? Do we do like a full on tag team? A switcheroo? lights on. Is that me just thinking too much about it? Oh, I hate being uncertain about things. I'm normally quite confident and certain with stuff, but I just don't want to get stuck. I don't want to have to be rescuing trucks. I don't want to be wasting money. Mist and fog is rolling in as well now. As if things weren't getting challenging enough. What do we have on the derry? What's it got? Tire wise, it's got chains. Or do I mud the dairy and send the dairy through for the hard bit? It's just not very nimble. spare wheel tyres. Oh, it doesn't do mud. So the, the best off-road. Well, they're pretty decent. I guess we stick with what we got. Double check some stuff. He's got his 
next best winch. So if I put a low on. We'll try and tackle the mud. <clears throat> Excuse me, with the dairy. Because I've got to come back with it. Like I said, I've got to come back with a full trailer. Trailer over so you can give it enough there. Don't get me wrong, overkill for this delivery, but I think it'll help with the next. A turn in circles is going to cause me issues. Will that attach trailer there. Yeah, but it's quite generous at times, isn't it? Right. Remember to sling my winch out so I can get around corners. <laughs> I like the dairy beast, it is thirsty. It's a thirsty beast. to just jam it in reverse try to turn it around See, maybe we'll be able to get in and get out with the next delivery. Perhaps we just won't be able to do the delivery. I think this is more what I need to be doing, playing it safe. Rather than rushing it. Have a little think and then just go and write. This is what's going to be best. It's nearly empty already, that fuel trailer. You'd probably go and um, siphon the one that's parked outside the garage and then go deliver that. So yeah, to any who don't know, this is Devil's Mud. It's some of the nastiest, especially if you like from base game, some of the nastiest. Like, I haven't been everywhere, so I don't know where else is, is worse than this. I don't think... I came across a stretch in Tamir that was worse than this. I don't. I know when we did our live stream series, we we got stuck quite heavily, but that was because I was not prepared for um, what I was doing at the time. <laughs> it was more of the issue. I think. A lot of the North American trucks don't have mud tyres, especially sort of the, the heavies. That's just something you have to live with. I 
I just try to do this with the, the royal. Just when it happens. We'd, we'd still be at the second tree, I think, in the royal. And I'm going to be a big pussy. And I'm, I'm not going to go along the uh, the steep edge. We're going to go the safer around route. Because I always tip if I take the what I call the bottom edge. The bottom route. Even if you like, I gently negotiate it, then there's always this one stone I can never seem to avoid which is more of a boulder and it just bounces my trucks over always no matter what save I've been on I want it's like a little snowplow, angled snowplow, but just use it to scoop and push rocks out of the way. I'm not even going to go the root route, we're going to go naughty. It's not naughty, it's just cross road, cross country. any quicker not really from the many times that I've been up and down and around here, for me that's, that's the best route I'm not sure if we'll be able to see my rock my rock of doom from here just about, you just about see it if I bring my cursor up, there's the stone and it always flips me and I always go down there, always <laughs> is my nemesis <laughs> but it does mean that this end I've not got a crane so I'm going to have to pay for the four to get loaded on If you used a trailer and flatbed, um, yeah, like a trail flatbed or trail whatever, um, you could come down here with just this cargo on the back, because I think there is a trailer down here as well. So that could, that could be another option, another way of doing it. I'd forgotten about it. I'm just now getting that feeling of I'm going to arrive here and there's going to be a trailer parked on the right. you know in a way to lighten your load so you come down with a, a you know a crane bed and then get here do this delivery and then attach that trailer to do your um poor service parts but i'd rather spend you know a few hundred now doing this and maybe Check that it's spare drilling parts in the next job. 
drilling parts. Yeah, going up to the factory. Four of them. I just think it's better to spend... What's that? 600 credits here to do this than it is to spend maybe 8 grand or 6 grand, 5 grand, whatever it would be to uh, recover the truck that gets stuck or flips or rolls doing what I know I wouldn't be able to do. So this is every chance that the Royal gets stuck and then I put another truck down to try and get it and because the Royal's already taken up the best route the, the next truck is then going to have to go in deeper mud so it's not going to rescue anything, it's just going to get stuck as well. And later on we're going to come back and pull that for it all as well. But again, that's one of the things I love about this game. There's so many ways to approach and do all the same things. We can all do it differently. Different vehicles, different routes, different methods, at different times. So diverse in this playstyle. Sun's going to be coming up soon. About five, ten minutes. We may, we may get through the mud. Depends on how the route back across the, the snowy mound goes. Obviously. There you go. You can see that stone now? There it is. With its little friend. If you try to go south of it, or to the left of it from here, you tip because you're at too much of an angle. And if you try and go over it, you tip because you're at too much of an angle. If you go over it, me personally, I always bounce and tip. <laughs> that stone, for me, is the best way to ruin a good day. I'm feeling good about myself, I just have a little drive over that. Go on, Derry. And again, the, I, I know that the Derry Longhorn, this one, isn't necessarily... Uh, the most popular of trucks either, but I quite like it. It always does the job for me. You can go down that way as well if you wish, by the way. Again, more routes. You can go there, or you can go around the tree line at the top. I'll show you the map. There is an actual route around the top, a route through the crevice, or as I like to always come through the woods. It's pretty open. Uh, you just have to remember to winch as you come off the snow onto the road again, because... It is quite an angle. Is that a funny angle? In the same way as I winched when I came up it, to be fair. Same difference, my friend, same difference. Let's see how we do. We might be alright, we might not. Having a full load, you know, sometimes helps you a little bit.
four minutes to get through the mud. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I never go that way. That way is just... For me, that's, I've, I've lost many trucks that way. <laughs> just in sort of attempting and trying different things. It's not the way to go. Don't think going low gear helps much either here. Just brute force, pulling me a winch. A big dirty winch fest. Is that long enough to grab onto something in front? No. Take. That one, though. Just to bring us in a bit closer. Start finding ourselves stranded out there. Beautiful job, beautiful job. Oh, oh, that's where it all goes wrong. All right, we'll uh, refuel. Oh, there's nothing in that trailer. Um. <laughs> We're not going to go too far with this because it's got to go back down there in a bit. But the rest of the journey for that load will be whoa, 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 on the floor. Uh, we'll be done with the uh, with the royal again. We'll get the royal back over here in a bit. But that's perfect. That is it for today. Um, a bit of a strange one. So we got one job done. We're prepared to do this one, so we'll get out and deliver this next. And then we'll probably head back over uh, and try and pull that big trailer through. We'll see how this all goes next time out. But hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. I'm about to lose my voice. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.